we can move on to our next topic subfile euro coordinate so euro coordinates they are also called as tunicates in so your word in the meaning euro and the one it came from the greek word aura it means day in the code refers to code so here in this organism the note code is present in the tail region and thus the name euro code they are also called as tunicata and the greek word tunica means coating so these organisms have a coating over their body protecting the soft body and thus the name tunicata so they are belonging to protocordates as we have already discussed in the last class so they are primitive marine they may be solitary or colonial solitary means they are living singly and colonial means they are living in groups or colony so they may be solitary organisms or they may be colonial organisms colonial colonies with a leathery covering around the body mostly they are sedentary means remaining attached to a substrate and rarely they are pelagic some forms they are pelagic which swims on the surface of the water so simple solitary eudocondrites they are called as monacidians and complex colonial compound eudocondrites are called as synacidians so this is a uh, solitary uh, eucaryote these are all solitary organisms this one also solitary and this is a colony consisting of so many individual organisms so they are beautifully colored and their body it is having a leathery uh, cover so that's the name tunicates monacidians are there synacidians are there so beautifully colored organisms with a leathery cover so while going through the saline pictures of the eucaryotes the whole body is encased by means of a tough and leathery covering this covering is called as test or tunic and this test or tunic it is made up of certain polysaccharides called as tunicin here the notochord is absent in the adult this present only in the larval stage a dorsal tubular nerve cord can also be seen in the larvae which is absent in the adult Large pharynx or branchial sac, which is surrounded by the atrium, can be seen. Simple tubular heart, which periodically reverses the direction of flow, and this is a unique feature among the animal kingdom. The only organisms wherein the heart is having showing periodical reversal in the flow of the blood. Sexes united in some. and even the gonads they may be hermaphroditic with a male and a female portion reproduction it may be asexual by means of budding and if uh, such is the case it will result in a colonial form and certain other eurocordates uh, they reproduce sexually by gamete formation and later these gametes they fuse to form zygote that is called as zygogenesis then regeneration regeneration means ability to recreate the lost part a regeneration and alternation of generation alternation of generation between the sexual and the sexual part and in some form polymorphism may be seen polymorphism means a uh, single uh, color colony which exhibit different morphologically different organisms and thus we can see a division of flavor it is void exhibiting a particular function in the colony so that is called as polymorphism we see a morphologically different forms in the same colony then most of the forms they are oviparous but a few of them are ovoviviparous oviparous means laying the eggs and ov 
of the wave follows the zigzag form, but the zigzag retained within the body and the ones will be hatching out within the body of the adult and then once we will be released from the body of the adult. Then in most of the cases the development is indirect. So indirect development means an larval form can be seen and here in the Eurocodex they are having a tail free swimming larvae that is called as a sedient tapu and the retrogressive metamorphosis is another characteristic feature of Eurocodex. Which means uh, here itself we can see the larval forms they exhibit all the complex uh, modern characters like the notochord, tubular nerve cord, etc. And this uh, larva is motile also. But when it turns to be the adult, it loses uh, the notochord and nerve cord. The body becomes modern, more simple, and also the organism becomes sedentary. So all these primitive characters are exhibited by the adult, but all the complex uh, modern characters are exhibited by the larval. So usually, in the case of living organisms, the larval form exhibit all the simple characters, the adult forms exhibit complex characters. But here, the larva is highly complex when compared to that of the adult. So the larva loses during the metamorphosis, it loses many of these advanced characters and turn out to be a single uh, adult. So this type of metamorphosis is, is called as retrogressive metamorphosis. So in all the other organisms metamorphosis is progressive. That means from a single larva to complex adult but here if the metamorphosis is retrogressive means a highly complex and advanced larva it metamorphosis to form a simple primitive adult form and also they exhibit a character called as neoteny or pedogenesis. Neoteny means uh, the larval forms itself exhibit uh, adult characters and means uh, the ability to reproduce. Uh, so such a character is called as neoteny or pedogenesis. So, these are the salient features exhibited by the Eurocodes. And here we have to study one example that is Acedia. Acedia it is commonly called as a sea spirit. So, this word came from the Greek word Ascidion means little bag. So, it, uh, this is uh, due to the shape of uh, this morphological peculiarity of this living organism. So, they are sedentary marine colleagues and they will remain attached to the rocks or other substrates since they are sedentary. Body does uh, roughly oblong, slightly elongated, almost a cylindrical and they are having a broad base for attachment. The free end of the body uh, it is having a wide aperture called as the oral aperture branchial aperture or mouth of the anterior end and behind just behind the mouth on one side there is another aperture called as a atrial aperture and this forms the dorsal side of the organism so the position where mouth is present is called as anterior end and the part where having atrial aperture it is considered as a dorsal side of the organism and branchial aperture it is seen at the summit of a small prominence called as a branchial siphon. So this is a atrial aperture and this is a uh, oral aperture. No. The branchial aperture, at the, it is seen at the summit of a small prominence called as a branchial siphon. So this is called as a uh, oral siphon or the branchial siphon. And similarly, the atrial aperture, it is seen at the uh, summit or top of the atrial siphon. So here you can see the uh, prominence 
and this is called as a helium cipher. Body discovered by means of protective integument called as test of tunic. And this is very soft, leathery, and more or less translucent. And at the oral and atrial siphons, they give off projecting lobes forming the lips of the apertures. Forming the lips of the aperture. Now, this test it is made up of a complex polysaccharide called tunicin. And the body wall, which is seen just below the test, it is called as a mountain. And it is attached to the test only at regions of oral and atrial cycle. So here in the valve is very loose. And only in these positions uh, it will be attached. Attached to the test only at the region of oral and atrial cycle. So this forms a very loose bag and this bag is highly contractile and the sudden jerks of contraction it causes a jet of water which is coming out through the atrial aperture and thus the name C script. So this is a branchial apertures. Uh, very simple elementary canal with oral aperture and lateral aperture, oral siphon and lateral siphon. And you can see the loose back tunicin. This is attached only in the position of these uh, siphons. So, water will be taken in in this mode. So this is also called as an incurrent siphon and the water squids, squids out through this atrial aperture. So this is also called as an excurrent siphon. This is a broad base and with which it will be attaching itself to the substrate. And no nerve cord can be seen, no nerve cord and highly reduced nerve ganglia known as CP. And hermaphroditic gonads can be seen, male part and female part. So this is a loose test of tunis. How the C script propels out the water. Now, this is a tadpole or the larva of a unicolic. So, this exhibit all the four key characters exhibited by the colic. It is having a dorsal nerve cord, it is uh, having the motor cord, it is very prominent in the tail portion, gill slits, pharyngeal slits, acid, and even a posterior tail. So all the characters that is a present or that should be shown by the uh, modern colleagues it is exhibited in the larva. And this is seen only in the uh, larval stage. So this larva is much advanced when compared to the simple and primitive adult. And that is why this type of uh, metamorphosis is called as a progressive metamorphosis.